Hello everyone, welcome once more to Mathematics Pro. So today we'll be doing division of third. So before we move any further, it is preferable for us to talk about the rules when dividing third, which type of rules we can use. So if we have like the square root of a divided by b, this is the same as the square root of a divided by the square root of b. So I can also live from here to this. So it means when we, we can live from one, one position to another. So we can live from this position to this or from this to this. Okay, I will explain this with the example. So let's look at this question. If we want to apply this rule, let me write the rule here, which is what the square root of A over the square root of B is also the same as the square root of a divided by the square root of b. So that can be applied here. So I have root 10 divided by root 2. It's difficult to simplify. The best thing to do, the best thing to do is to put all of them in the common root. So this will become 10 following the law this is equals to this this will become 10 divided by 2 so this will give us root 5 so this is our answer now for number 2 for number 2 is instead preferable to separate so that was number 1 let's look at number 2 for number 2 I can separate this as we can separate this as the square root of 169 divided by the square root of 144. So it's easier to simplify. We all know that um, 169 is the same as 13 times 13. So the square root of 169 will give us 13. And the square root of 124 will give us 12. So let's move with um, this other part of division, which involves rationalization of the denominator. Okay, so rationalization of the denominator. What does it mean? It means if you have a fraction with the denominator is a square root. To remove the square root, you need to multiply. For example, this means if I have like 1 over square root of a, if we don't want this um, denominator to have a square root, to rationalize, we need to multiply the denominator and the numerator by root a. Okay, so if we do that, 1 times root a will give us root a. We can see root a times root a will give us root a square, which is the same as a. So we can see that the denominator is no more having a square root. So we can do the same with this equation. So to rationalize the denominator, so we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 2. So if we multiply times root 2, yeah, root 2, it doesn't change anything if we are supposed to divide. If I divide root 2 divided by root 2 will give us 1, so I have not changed anything in the equation. Sorry. So if we continue, so this will give us 1 times root 2 is root 2. Because 1 times any number remains the same. That's 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times, one times root 2 will give us root 2. Now root 2 times root 2 will give us root 4. So this is also the same as two root 2 divided by 2. So this is our answer. It means this is equal. This is equals to root 2 over 2. It means if you use your calculator, all the answer will be the same. They are equal. So we do the same with question 2. We rationalize the denominator. So if we need to rationalize the denominator, we have 3 root 3. So the denominator is root 3. So we multiply the numerator, root 3, 
and the denominator times root 3. So if we proceed, we are going to have root, root 3 times, we have 3, we have 3 times root 3, this will give us 3 root 3 divided by root 3 times root 3, this is root 9. If we move further, we are going to have root 3, we have 3 root 3 divided by 3. So this 3 and this 3 will cancel, our answer will be root 3. So this one is the same as root 3. Okay, thanks.